Guys, I have been mind blown by ChatGPT. It is the best AI I've ever used and it's already changing the world by writing books that are being sold on Amazon, creating super popular tweets for influencers and even writing and passing university exams. So I decided to push it to the limits and find the top 10 best things you can do with it that'll change your life. So to get started, open your browser and head on over to chat.openai.com. It'll ask you to sign up, so just pop in your details and then you're pretty much good to go. And one of the first powerful things you've got to do with it is ask it to summarize things. Like if you have a web link to a super long article that you don't necessarily want to spend your time reading, you can go ahead, copy that link, then hop into ChatGPT and actually ask it to summarize this article for you in one sentence, then just paste the link and watch the magic happen. As ChatGPT does an incredible job at summarizing what would have been a fairly long article to read into a couple of sentences that you can read in seconds. But what really blew my mind is you can ask it to summarize YouTube videos. And this is really useful, especially when the videos are long like this podcast, which was an hour and 12 minutes. All you do is select the link, hit that copy button, and once again in ChatGPT, ask it to summarize this video, then paste the link, but importantly, head on back to the YouTube video and also copy the title then paste that title just below the link. I'm not gonna lie, without using the title, you can sometimes get some mixed results, but once again, instantly, it gives you a summary of what was actually in the video without having to spend an hour and 12 minutes. But where things get really crazy is it can summarize hundreds of pages in seconds. So again, instead of spending hours of reading through files or documents, you can literally just copy the pages of text, then go into ChatGPT and type out TLDR, too long, didn't read. Then just ask it to summarize in two sweet sentences for you, paste all those pages of text and watch as this bad boy spits out the quickest summary you've ever seen. And what's crazy is just how fast it can do it. Another thing you can do is if you're on your phone with the same web link, you can ask ChatGPT to summarize or explain something that went on in the news or old history and it'll make it so much quicker and easier to understand. But that is just the start. There is so much more you can do with it. Like it can teach you pretty much anything. Now let's say you wanted to learn something really quickly. Well, instead of searching through Google or going through manuals, you can ask ChatGPT to teach you whatever it is you want. And amazingly, it actually gives you a really detailed guide and step-by-step -step on how to get started. It told me the chord, what fret, and even what string I needed to put my finger on to get started with playing guitar. And from what I tested, it also does a really good job at teaching you different languages and even certain software like Photoshop. And remember, what's totally wild is this is all for free. And what's also so, so crazy is if you're stuck on a project or some super annoying math homework, you can just put it into ChatGPT and ask it to solve it for you. Honestly, I wish I had this when I was back in school because it explains everything you need to know. Convenient. And after all that, you can still then ask it to check your project or even grade your homework for you. So for example, you could ask it to grade your paper out of 100 and the bam, not only does it grade your homework or project, but it even gives you a reason as to why it gave that. So I mean, you can turn ChatGPT into TeachGPT, but you can also turn it into DocGPT. Okay, so of course ChatGPT is not a real doctor, but it can help you get really healthy and this seriously blew my mind. So let's just say you want to get fit, healthy, gain some muscle and maybe lose some weight. You can ask it for a detailed exercise plan and honestly, it gives some great advice and an amazing plan to follow. And if this isn't detailed enough for you, remember, you can ask it to get even more specific. But we can take this one step further and ask ChatGPT to make a weekly meal plan for you with a calorie allowance and look at how detailed it can get. You can then ask it to take that meal plan and break it down into a freaking shopping list for you. And what really blew my mind is how it categorized all the different ingredients. That's pretty life-changing. What you can also ask it to do is come up with a great recipe for you based on what couple food items you have at home. So for example, if you only have a couple ingredients laying around, you can ask ChatGPT what you can cook with these ingredients and it'll actually generate different recipes for you. Or you can even ask it for a recipe on a specific meal, like let's say you were allergic to nuts or maybe you wanted a vegan mac and cheese. So ChatGPT can turn into a lot of things, but it can also turn into you. 
It is so wild that it can even do this, but let's just say you copied a message or email that you've written and head into ChatGPT, you can ask it to analyze a message and learn to write like you. It'll ask you to paste in exactly what message or mail you've written so it can learn from it. And once you do, it's absolutely insane at what it picks up and how accurate it is. For example, I have a casual way of speaking. I like to use these words and I have some humor in my writing. <laughs> not wrong. This is kind of like making an AI clone of yourself. And it's actually pretty useful, especially when you need ChatGPT to write and reply for you. People will literally think you wrote everything. And if that doesn't blow your mind, then check this out. You can paste anything into ChatGPT and ask it to rewrite it in a person's style, like Snoop Dogg, for example. This was honestly hilarious, and I also couldn't believe at how well it rewrote it in his style. Tales world all the way. But what's even better is you can assign personas to ChatGPT. And what's crazy is it'll give you better responses when it's in that character. You do just have to prompt ChatGPT to pretend to be the specific person. But then after that, every time you chat to it, it'll respond like that person would. Whether it's Snoop Dogg, Oprah Winfrey, or Abraham Lincoln, the options are honestly endless. And this can actually be so useful, especially when you need to ask ChatGPT for some advice. So let's just say you needed some advice because your roommate kept stealing your bananas. Well, you can ask ChatGPT to help you out and somehow the advice it gives is so balanced and reasonable, it's as if you're talking to a professional. You can literally ask it for any advice, like how to deal with a tricky situation or how to impress your in-laws or get a raise at work, literally anything. You can even ask it how to respond to something in tricky situations. Like if your boss or coworker sent you a nasty message, all you need to do is paste in the message they sent you, then ask ChatGPT for some help and advice. And probably one of my favorite things is it'll even write a response for you. Neat. Now, another amazing thing ChatGPT can do is actually scan images. So let's just say you had a complex diagram or intricate chart. You could just copy the link to that image, go into ChatGPT and ask it to describe what is in this image. Then just paste the link to it. And in a couple of seconds, it'll explain and describe exactly what is happening in this pic. And sometimes it does get the explanation completely wrong. But if you do give it a bit more information, it should get it right on the second try. Now, another amazing thing you might not have thought to do with ChatGPT is actually ask it to plan out a holiday for you. It'll give you a day-to-day -day itinerary of things you can do while on your trip, and you can even ask it to get more specific and provide options for flights. Something else I actually really like using it for is movie and book recommendations. So you can ask it like, what were the top comedy movies in the 90s? It'll give you a list, just choose one, then sit back, relax, and enjoy. Then something else I really like using it for is taking these super complicated formal agreements and making them more or informal and actually understandable. So again, you just copy and paste the text, ask it to make it informal so that finally you can actually understand it. But now let's get our game on with ChatGPT because believe it or not, you can actually play games with it. Okay, so if you open up ChatGPT and ask it what games you can play with it, it'll give you a whole list of different options to choose from, but one of my favorite has got to be trivia. And that is because if you use this prompt over here, you can play any trivia game you want with it. So I mean, if you wanted to, you could play tech trivia, movie trivia, or even something as crazy as cheese trivia. But you can take things to another level and ask ChatGPT to code a game for you, which you can then play in your browser. It does take a few steps to get this right, but you can ask ChatGPT the entire way on how to do this. But I mean, the fact that it can literally make a game from scratch is just whoa. And if all that wasn't enough, you can even play text adventure games with it like Dungeons and Dragons. I personally don't play Dungeons and Dragons, but you gotta admit it's pretty crazy that it can make a completely original story for you from absolutely nothing. Now, to get better responses, the best thing to do is to pretend as though you're talking to a real person. If you ask something simple like what's one plus one, you'll get a simple answer. But the more detailed you are in your questions, like why exactly does one plus one equal two, the more detailed and informative its responses. The second thing to do for better responses is always correct ChatGPT when you think it's made a mistake. I asked it who Hale's World was, and let's just say it got it totally wrong. So as you go, the more you correct it, the more it can learn from its mistake 
mistakes and to hopefully just not make them again. Then also don't forget something else you can do is assign personas wherever you can. Because every chat GPT personality you assign it can actually give you a different response. And the crazy thing is, don't ask me how, some personalities even give you better responses than others. Now, if all that wasn't enough, don't forget that ChatGPT can create completely original content, like write a song for you about aliens that make bad jokes, create an Instagram caption, write your best man speech that you've only known for one week. The options of content it can create for you are absolutely unlimited, and I mean, you could even take a job description with all its information, pop that into ChatGPT, and ask it to write a one-page cover letter for you. So if you think about it, when it comes to content creation, the sky is the absolute limit. And believe it or not, I actually use ChatGPT to write this entire video. I'm just kidding, but most of it. So if you think about it, this is only the beginning and AI is only going to get better. So hit that sub button if you want to see some more cool things you can do with AI. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!